Okay guys, so it's later in the evening. Does that even make sense? Okay guys, so it's evening time and we are about to head to a Sunday night market. So every Sunday in Chiang Mai, they have these really big night markets by, I think it's called Thai Pai Gate. I'm not sure, but when I get there, I'll show you guys around and can you go to uh, Taipei Gate uh, on Sunday too? Sunday Yeah, Sunday, 30 baht? Yeah, 30 baht? Okay. Multiple ways to get to the Sunday night market. One way is Grab, which is the equivalent of Uber. Or you can take a tuk-tuk. I wouldn't advise that, but if you want to, you can. Or you can get on the red truck slash cab. So with the red truck or cab, you can negotiate the price you want. So a tip for the red truck is to never pay more than 50 baht. Um, we negotiated 30 baht from our Airbnb to the Sunday night market. Have this out to last, but don't ask where my head is at. Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us. I don't care about love, just need your touch. Want you to be my vice. shorts for 60 baht. I found those cool, uh, what are they called, Aladdin pants for like 100 baht. Um, right now we're at the food court or food area. I just had crepes. I had the butter, sugar, lime crepe and Austin had, what did you have? He had pad thai. <laughs> Austin had pad thai for 40 baht and I had crepes for 50 baht. I didn't eat yet so right now I'm going to go try to find somewhere to eat or something to eat.
so that's pretty much the Sunday night market. If you are in Chiang Mai on a Sunday evening slash night, I would suggest going there. They have a lot of good food, clothes, souvenirs, whatever you can think of, you can find there. There's cool entertainment, like we just saw a fire show, we saw a rap battle, and we saw artists performing on the street, so I suggest you guys check it out.